Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I was do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, we are going to go back inland a little bit. I ran into some trouble with some phantoms last episode. Apparently they attack you if you don't sleep enough. So I think that what I want to do today... Oh no, I can't claim my extra boat. Well, you know what? Let's just leave a boat here for the next person that needs it. And we'll, we'll, we'll take this one with us, you know? This nomadic lifestyle, I'm not used to it yet. I'm not used to not having a place to put my stuff. But anyway, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and try to find some sheep so that we can fashion ourselves a bed that we can carry with us throughout the server. Oh good! A stone moor! The traditional grazing lands of sheep. Did not plan this out at all. Hey, there's some coal though. But you know what? I shouldn't just grab coal whenever I see it. Once again, nomadic lifestyle. Gotta, gotta travel light. Oh good, there's an alpaca. What if I trained the alpaca to carry chests for me? I don't actually know how to do that. Plus, then, I don't think I can take him on boats, can I? We'll have to revisit this plan. This might be actually a good plan. But first, let's try to find some actual sheep so that we don't have to deal with being phantomed to death. I have been phantom zoned once. I do not want it again. They just came out of the sky like it was nothing. Which, arguably, the sky is not nothing. It's a combination of oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and other trace gases. You know? It expands to fit the volume of its container. Which is, I don't know, the ionosphere? Not sure exactly how that works. I think it's gravity-fed, now that I think about it. Okay, so there's a cow. There is, is that a wolf or a sheep? Now, if that is a wolf, he will attack any sheep that are nearby... So, that's not good. Dang it. That means there's going to be no sheep nearby anywhere. So let's go ahead and keep going. Maybe we can figure something out. I kind of want to go back and get some of those magma blocks that were under the water. Oh, here's the wood that makes the dark. Oh, wait, wait, what, what's this? Modern district. Oh, hey, this must be Python's little area. Python's humble home. I had heard he was setting up shop in the modern district. Maybe VIP villager protect at all costs. Maybe we should build a fancier protective area for this VIP villager, right? Because, like, this wooden box is okay, but nothing says security like a plain wooden box, except for actual good security designs. So maybe if we can find some iron somewhere we can actually build ourselves a proper, like, resid... We could build something to actually keep this guy safe. Now, wow, we've got actual crops and stuff here? Whoops, that's a sign. Probably want to claim that. Um, it looks like the sun is going down. Dang it, sign! Why are you in my offhand? That is the worst place for you. Ugh, okay. Does this one have a bed in it? No, it has a table and mushrooms. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe... Let's go ahead and hermit B and B at Python's house, so that way we can actually reset our sleep timer and to have a spawn that's somewhere on this main island here. Why is his house full of cows and no beds? Python, who builds a whole house with no beds? Okay, come on. Dang it! Well, that was a good plan on paper. By which I mean not at all. Man, I'm just going to die out here. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and wall ourselves off inside of a house. Okay, so we'll just close that door. Get ourselves a nice little torch going on here. Ruin some mushrooms. Yeah, good times. Time skip. Who's the guy who can come? When he plays Minecraft, that's Joe Hughes. That's Joe Hughes. Well, the flames are rising on the zombies' bodies, it seems. Day has arrived. 
and they are engulfed. Now that to me says it's time to go out there and hit some zombies with swords to try and get some good stuff. Now this is also a good time for zombies to hit me, but that's an enchanted show. And I would like an it. nope, not zombie flesh. Also wait, the baby zombies don't catch fire, do they? Baby zombies do not catch fire. Bad plan, bad plan. Okay. Bad plan. Bad plan. Bad plan. Okay. New plan. New plan, everybody. Is to run as far away as we can from absolutely everything going on here before the baby zombies catch up to us. We've got our little map here, at least, that we made. Got little chickens going on over there. Hello, little chicken. You have a fun time. Joe Hills is... Dang it. Apparently heading the wrong way. How am I heading the wrong way? Well, let's see. There's the enchantment station up there. I was going to say I can enchant my diamond pickaxe now that I got more levels, but I died, so I don't even deserve to keep those diamonds. You know, that's the thing, is if I'm not going to have a way to store my stuff safely, I should eat all of my fish just in time to harvest the wool of some sheep. Do I want to dye the sheep a cool color? We have a blue bed or a light gray bed. Yeah, let's let's die the sheep. Boom. Dang it. Okay. How many did we get? Two light gray wool. Not bad. So then we can come over here, die this guy. Boom! Three light gray wool. From talking to some of the people on the server, that area that Python had set up in is going to be ripe for development soon. And so what I was kind of thinking of doing was setting up some sort of building over there where all the hermits can post information about themselves, like upcoming appearances or social media contacts or things like that. And I was imagining I would model it off of George Orwell's 1984 Ministry of Truth. Now, at this point, I don't really have the resources to do something like that correctly. In fact, I don't even have the resources to pick up the black wool that I dropped earlier from that sheep. Dang it, sheep. Okay, core concept, though. We have some white wool. We can use that to make some flags to hang up, or banners to hang up, behind different people's sculptures. We are going to need a lot uh, less dirt, for one thing. We're going to need sticks, though, in order to really pull off the concept of a Ministry of Truth. you got to have armor stands. So I figure initially we'll have empty armor stands for all the hermits, but later on they could be like replaced with like hermit heads or different things that people want to put there. I don't know. It would be up to the individual to decorate it. So let's see. I don't even know exactly how many hermits are playing this season, but core concept... We are doing well by just gathering a little bit of lumber here and a little bit of wool where we can. All right, so hopefully everything in that terrible, terrible village has had time to despawn. We can use the map to make sure that we're clear of the village far enough to the south when we start building our little plaza. Initially, a lot of our builds might appear to be plazas because we're not going to have sufficient resources to actually build buildings until we probably get shulker boxes to really get stacks and stacks of blocks and stuff. You know, let's go ahead and plant some trees over here, though, just in the interest of ensuring that in the long term we have access to lumber. That's going to make some sense for us. Okay, so we can just hop across this river here. Wow, I am low on food. I'm wondering if I should harvest one of those gardens and replant it on my way as well. Let's do that real quick before it gets too dark. So modern district is this way. Shopping district is this way. Okay. So if we want to build in the modern district without stepping on Python's toes too much, we need to move down this way a little bit. Now I want this area, this building, to have some visibility of the city maybe. Dang it, we can't run. We're too hungry to run. It's always a good sign in Minecraft when you're too hungry to run. 
So I kind of feel like what I should do in order to keep my build out of the way of other people is to just hug one of the sides of the area and establish it in such a way that it's not in anyone's way. You know, setting it up on this little sandbar here might actually be interesting, although I like the idea more of having it overlook the sandbar. So let's go ahead and maybe come out to this little isthmus here. Okay, yeah, from here you can see the ice peaks. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this, this right here is a good location. So we'll say done. So now it's getting dark and we're going to starve to death and not have a bed yet. So all, all of these things are arguably questionable in terms of their efficacy and quality. So first thing we're going to do, oh good, there's a pit that monsters can come up at us from. We need to make a bed, like, immediately. How do we make a bed? We need white wool, and we need wood. So let's get some wood first. Light gray bed. Boom. We're going to put that down here. We're going to get in the bed. We're going to sleep. Hopefully no mobs will spawn too soon. Okay, good, good, good. So now we don't have any monsters. That's that's start starting point one. Two, we're going to make a bunch of bread. We made a bed, we made our bread, and now we'll make some things instead. So, we're going to need to build a bunch of armor stands. In order to build those armor stands, we're going to need some stone. So, here's what we're going to do. is We're going to put some cobblestone in here, as well as some coal. I think, uh, yeah, that should be enough to get us started. So... We'll need armor stands, we'll need signs. If every hermit has like a link to their YouTube, a link to their streaming channel, um, their name on one sign, we might need five signs per hermit. Right now we have one sign total. So we actually should probably start building some sort of construction storage. Now I'm not going to be building a base on the server, I've said that, but I do like the idea of having the ability to make like construction depots as we go. So this build is probably going to be a long-term build with, here's what we're going to do too, is we're going to put some, let's put some redstone torches around here to establish that this is like serious business locked off, right? So we don't want people building where we're going to be building, right? So we're going to just kind of put these out here and around to here. So, you know, anybody who saw this would know, like, this is not just something that somebody lit up. This is something that somebody's using. Boom. Okay. So we have our overall plot of land. Now, the Ministry of Truth in George Orwell's 1984 is actually like a big marble building. So ultimately, we're going to want this space to be built out of quartz and have it be awesome. But what I wanted to do is start getting people to populate their little, like, alcoves with their armor stands sooner, you know, so that we don't have to wait, like, once we get access to the nether, you know. We already set up the construction area sign earlier, but I added a few more. Future home of all about you. Now, I was thinking we would set up an example alcove here. So, like, this would be, like, where you would have a uh, armor stand that the person could decorate themselves. They could put up some banners of whatever colors or whatever they wanted or decorate the back wall of the alcove. Put, like, links to your YouTube, your Twitter, whatever. And I was originally thinking I would have, like, a big central plaza in the middle because there's, um, let's imagine... Wow, I probably don't want to spend, use a ton of these resources making buttons. But, like, originally I was thinking, okay, there's 20 hermits, right? So we would put, like, um, let's say something like one, two, dang it. Poor use of stone. Whoa, where did you come from? Oh, that, that pit. We should do something about that pit. Thank you for reminding me about the pit, monster. Dang it, okay. 
Dang it. Okay, yep. While we're down here, might as well come deal with the pit. Don't have any torches left. We'll just go ahead and light this up and then flee. Wow, that's a really deep pit. Side note. Oh, it does look like conveniently, though, this pit might collapse in on itself. Except for the torches we put in. Dang it. Always overthinking it, Joe. Always overthinking it. Core concept. This is a dangerous pit. And we are going to make it harder to climb out of for monsters. Because why not? We are not... It's not our job to make their jobs easier, right? So, anyway, core concept. That pit will remain. We're going to build a structure up on stilts here. Cons uh, and it, it, I was originally thinking it would ho house, like, a whole bunch of these alcoves. One for every hermit. And so we would have, like, five... Oh, wow. You can actually turn buttons now? That's cool. So I was thinking, like, you'd have the front door here with, like, two... And then five in this way, and then five across here. And then it would kind of come back this way, right? And you'd have... Dang it. Just one alcove for every hermit around this area here. But what I'm realizing, though, is that actually those alcoves um, would block the view of the sea. And that is not something that I'm interested in doing. What I'm thinking of doing instead is putting the alcoves in the middle of the space. So we'll have a building with a big footprint here with a bunch of these alcoves back to back in the center. Now, with 20 of these, I think that I'd have to do like 10 and then 10. So like that's really long if we do it that way. If we space it out a little bit though, huh? Yeah, that's maybe maybe if we cluster them in groups of of like 4. So we have them around a central pillar. So let's go ahead and imagine, so we would need five groups of four. And these alcoves would have a footprint of at least three by three. So if the cluster of four was kind of shaped like a plus sign, we would need at least 15, or no, we would need at least nine blocks across for each plus. So we could rig this up, though. So we have this kind of like that, that, another one here. Can't do that one there, but core concept. We should probably have another one in the center, but space these all out more. So let's go ahead then and do our fancier layout. Let's make room to do an actual full layout of this, just to make sure that we understand the core concept where the walkways are going to be, that sort of stuff, right? Goodbye. You're too much foliage. You're not welcome here. Okay. So, when you first enter, you're going to have the opportunity to walk around. You're going to need at least three blocks on either side of each of these things. So, our actual kind of barriers or boundaries of the build would be like out to here almost. And then over to... here, and then out to here on this side. So if we're assuming three blocks deep for each of these things, with then, uh, so that's going to be 12 blocks to get to here, another nine across here, and then another 12 out here. So 24 plus nine going to be 33. So we need to measure out 33 blocks from one side of this island to another, and we need to go back 33 blocks as well. Which is like here. I don't have any lily pads. Wow, that's further out than I thought. I'm wondering if I should reevaluate this build, or like, if I should just embrace, embrace it. Oh, let's see, do we have... Even if I wanted to go down that low. Wow, this is a pretty deep area here. Yeah, we gotta get back out of here before we actually drown. Um, 
I mean, this is clearly the place to do it, but I'm just not sure. We're going to have to come back and replace these planks later. We'll have, like, real pillars later on. That's, that's for sure. But for right now, we need to be able to just mark this out. So we've got our example alcove kind of armored up and something kind of there so if people stop by to see what's going on they can get a sense of it and then i've started laying out the first of these five pluses here now i think the spruce wood is going to work well once we get the stone in place i'm hoping to actually do some real supports that plunge into the sea properly but you know what this is a lot of resources to gather for one episode and a lot to do so i think i'm going to wrap up this episode here we will continue in our next episode on this build, and then hopefully we can have all the hermits come in, armor their armor stands, and replace the gravel with whatever blocks they want, hang up their own flags. Should be fun. Oh yeah, and the center of each of these is going to be like, maybe pillars or something. I don't know, I haven't worked that out yet. Anyway, until next time y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.